technical difficulties, everyone. Good morning. I'm Lynette from Knit So Fabulous, and welcome to the channel for Knit So Fabulous. I am sitting here in the power meeting with Phoenix Rising. I, I am unable to get both of us into the, uh, the frame right now, but you will have the opportunity to meet one of the Detroit Fabulous women. And we're sitting here doing a power meeting over breakfast at Mimi's in Gross Point Park. Let me introduce you, Phoenix Rising. Good morning, everyone. This is a, such an opportunity, a pleasure to be here this morning. And I'm honored, and it is truly a blessing to be among such a wonderful, powerful woman in this city and how gifted is she with Nick So. And she is, might I add, fabulous. Oh, you're too kind. Yeah. Too kind. <laughs> now please, please take this opportunity to ask her questions. She's a Detroit native, very, very powerful woman in the music industry. So please ask questions. And as you ask questions, I will introduce myself. My name is Cuffy. I was born and raised in Chicago, Illinois, and my music career began with the Operation Breadbasket Choir with the fantastic Reverend Jesse L. Jackson. My singing began, uh, did a three-year stint with the choir. I was auditioned by the late Marvin Morrissey and put into the second soprano. So it wasn't until I became older that um, later on in the years that I... Okay, I, I got to jump in here. Older is relevant. I, oh, she okay. looks every bit of oh. 25. <laughs> she's talking about she's older. Unreal. We'll talk about that one later. Unreal. Unreal. Okay, so um, I was put in the second soprano section. So I did the vocal choir for three years. And I'm in Detroit by way of California. And my last residence in California was in La Puente, California. So I came here to Michigan in 1975 with a beautiful daughter. And I have two grandchildren. Mm -hmm. mm, two grandchildren. You hear that? She looked all of 25. She got two grandchildren. But listen, I got to interrupt. Our food is here. All right? Okay. You got to check this out. Mimi. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Let me see. Okay. Can we see that? Nope. Nope. Can you Look at that. It's called the Farmer's Breakfast by Mimi. And the angels sing. I know, right? <laughs> so we're going to be eating and talking. So let me figure out how we can do this. Are there any questions for us? Any questions? Feel free. And um, so you know, I'll floss afterwards. So you know, we won't <laughs> we won't be looking too close, you know, to the thing going on here. But um, as I was saying earlier, doing uh, the interview, I came here in 1975. So the first place that I sang in Detroit was a place called. Club Mozambique. Oh, it was a jazz club then. And uh, let me see, what was the first song? Uh, I ooh, guess what the first song I sang? What? Tell us, tell us. Sweet thing. Oh, yes, yes. So I make I met some fabulous musicians and uh, rest my mother's soul, she's the one who introduced me to these fabulous Detroit musicians. And I learned about Cobb's Corner, a place called Cobb's Corner in Michigan. So I used to hang out there. And uh, over the years, I established a rapport with the talk about fabulous musicians here in this city. But everything and everyone has a time and a place. And the service of love. And I'm, and you know what? Thanks for showing me this love. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 we want to see some hearts. And, and we, some hearts. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get some hearts going on this network. And I appreciate you too. So, you know, hey, if you want to know more about Lynette, 
that too, you know. She gonna do a thing. All right, so <laughs> that was my cue because you know what? She's hungry. I'm hungry. But we're sitting here doing fellowship. Please look and see to make sure that there's no bacon in there. That looks like a red skin potato. Okay, good. Now, <laughs> my name is Lynette, and I'm from Knit So Fabulous. I am a knitwear designer. So I knit on a knitting machine. I knit with my hands, I knit with my arms, and then I knit with my fingers too. Later on in the season, I will show you, and some of my other videos, I will show you exactly what it is that I do. I'm setting up a space in my backyard so we can have fabulous outdoor crafting sessions. So that's gonna be fun. Do you have any questions about my knitwear or um, the techniques that I use on a knitting machine? Have you ever heard of a knitting machine? Huh? No, no interaction? All right, listen, it's all about the hearts. It's all about asking the questions. I'm new to this. You need to let me know what it is that you would like to see from me, and I will continue to give that to you. But again, a little bit about me. I'm a mobile artist. I go to several different locations and give um, presentations on my artwork, as well as I sell my garments in these different venues. Last Sunday, there was a video on uh, Periscope about a fashion show. Oh, hot sauce, yay. <laughs> and um, it was a great video. It didn't last long. You know, they only last like 24 hours. So we totally, totally missed that. But I will be doing more fashion shows around the metropolitan Detroit area. And it is my goal to share other artists with you. I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one out here that are doing unique and fabulous things. So that's the goal of my network with Knit So Fabulous, to showcase my items, but also to share other artisans with you, because the world needs to know what we have here in Michigan. All right? Phoenix, would you like to say some more things? Yes, I would also like to add not only other fabulous artisans that she's uh, speaking of, along with herself, but other fabulous fantastic artists that will also, and I can speak for myself, will be back on the bandstand and donning those fabulous wear. And I can't wait. So any piece that I don, trust and believe, it will be broadcast, darling. <laughs> you know. I've been dying, listen, I've been dying to wear some of this fabulous woman that wears as a wonderful artesian. I am a supporter of local artesians and I'm a supporter of local performing artists in Michigan and Detroit and abroad. Thank you very much for your time. said it all right there. Yes, we're going to have artists, um, musical artists as well. There's a whole industry here of um, indie artists from jazz to pop to rock. Um, I was a part of uh, Black Women Rock. That was another fabulous venue. Unfortunately, I didn't know of um, Periscope at that time, so I wasn't able to film. But, oh, Detroit and the metropolitan Detroit area is really happening right now. And it's, it's my goal to share some of these fabulous things. So, we're gonna end this broadcast right now because we're truly hungry and this food is fabulous. So, I look forward to seeing you again. I'm Lynette and this is... My name is Kafi and I also would like to say happy single de Mayo. Oh, well, happy single tomorrow. Oh, I forgot about that. All right. All right. All right. Take care. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.